Righto, tally ho there. So you're lucky enough to get away. You're on holiday. We're talking sun. We're talking sea. Beautiful beaches. This is going to be a fantastic holiday. And you want to travel light. And you want to keep in touch with the world and get some work done on the road. You don't want to be bogged down with a massive laptop, with lots of accessories, big battery packs. You want something that's going to get the job done and is going to be as compact and light as possible. And maybe you have to do a bit of work too. Well, I have two perfect laptops here for the job. We have the XPS 13 2-in-1 and then we have the Alienware 13. So I actually took these laptops with me on a little break and I thought I'd see how they go. I did actually take another device, well actually two. You'll be surprised on what the fourth one I took is, or maybe you won't be. Here you can see the transformer book. That is like a Surface Pro with ports. I will be reviewing all these laptops, but I'll have more on the transformer book later. It's not really a laptop and I just want to concentrate on these two laptops. First of all, the XPS 13 2-in-1. This thing is sexy. It's great to get your productivity work done on the go. Very similar design to the XPS 13 but thinner and lighter. That screen is absolutely gorgeous. Touch screen, high resolution and of course it's a 2-in-1 so it can flip in all the positions. You can use it as a tablet or a regular laptop which is pretty much how I use it. Super sexy like the XPS 13. It is really thin. Unlike the MacBook which has one poultry USB-C port. This one is loaded. This has a standalone Thunderbolt 3 slash USB-C and a USB-C port, micro SD, headphone jack. This has got you covered for ports. You will need a dongle most likely, but the addition of a Thunderbolt 3 port is a game changer because it gives it unlimited expandability. And it's powered by an i5 or i7. These are the Kaby Lake versions of the formerly known M processors, but this one here can boost over 3 gigahertz and it's much better than the previous M processors. Get your work done, no problem with this. I could even video edit on it. Stay tuned for the review. It was a pleasure to use on my holiday. If you want a game on your holiday, of course. You want something light, portable, but you don't want to compromise. The Alienware 13 is just that tool. 13 inch, but we're not talking dual core anymore. We're talking quad core, Kaby Lake processors, a GTX 1060, and a great responsive 1080p display. Now, of course, you can get the OLED version of this. Unfortunately, I don't have that one. But for gaming, this was no compromise. I was playing the latest titles, 1080p, high settings, and was pretty much getting 60 frames per second all the time. Now, previous 13-inch laptops pretty much had dual cores in them. This is a game changer, having a quad core. And if I'm a hardcore gamer, and gaming's what I'm gonna do, this is the laptop I would take with me. And of course, stay tuned for the review. So how did all these laptops go? Which one would I take with me? The XPS 13 2-in-1 or the Alienware 13? Well, you could easily say, well, if you're a gamer, take the Alienware with you. And if you're someone that just needs to get your productivity work done, take the XPS 13 2-in-1. But for me, I don't want to compromise. I would take the XPS 15. And of course, I did take it because this is no compromise. I can game on it, latest title, 60 frames per second, high settings on most games, and I can get my work done too, including video editing, productivity, content creation, gaming. The XPS 15 has you covered, no compromise, and it's so small for a 15 inch laptop with this much power. That's what I would take with me, as much as I love those other two laptops. I've got one laptop that kills multiple birds with one stone. And that's it guys, stay tuned for the review on all these laptops. I'd like to really thank you guys for watching. I've got lots more tech content coming soon and don't worry there's lots more XPS 15 videos coming. And until next time guys, tally ho.